Hey guys, this is Ashwin. Today, we're going to be putting a custom wireless charger setup into my BMW 135's uh, little storage cubby right here. The wireless charger that I got to put inside the, the cubby is the Chotac T513S. It's this one right here. Uh, it fits perfectly into that cubby in its enclosure. I want to make it look really custom. Put that thing in, take out all the covers. Make it look like there's nothing there, but it will still charge. There's already a custom setup for the 82. It's called like the in-bay one, but it only charges at five watts. And um, that's really slow compared to what most phones can charge at. The iPhone does 7.5, Androids do um, 10. So you know, getting two times as fast for Android, 1.5 times as fast for iPhone. So you know, might as well do that. And plus it's way more expensive to buy the in-bay. So like, why would you do that? Just get this, it was like $20. And I also got this uh, adapter cable with the, cause you need a, a quick charge 3.0 to, uh, to use with it. So I got one of these, it was like $10 or $12 Canadian. And I also got this retrofit cable because I don't want to put, I don't want to put this in my only cigarette lighter in the car. So this goes into uh, the fuse box and uh, it gives you an extra two ports. I'm gonna use the other port for my MHD uh, phone so I can always keep it charged in the car. And uh, yeah. All right, so this is the Chotec charger. So at the bottom, there's a couple of little nubs. You can rip these off. And now, so it's a Phillips head, uh, one of the small ones. I don't know what the exact size, but if you have a set, just test it out, see which one. So this is my first time opening it, so let's see how it looks. Five hours later. Oh, there we go. Just pops off. I was too scared to uh, take it apart. So anyways, there's that. So this is the coil. Um, here, let's see if I can get this off. Oh, yeah, it just comes straight off. Like that. Perfect. Let's see how it fits in this piece. Pop this little tree out. Do something like that. And then just like that. Yeah, that could work. I think I just have to get this little nub off the bottom here. So I cut that off. Should fit nice right there. See this in action. Working uh, concept. Right there's the cover. Let's drop the phone. Boom. And for the fraction of the cost of the NBA charger. Perfect. So I ended up making a really crude hole with an X-Acto knife, but uh, it works. You know, you can't see it when the, the mat's on. So, uh, you know. Doesn't really matter. I was just too lazy to get a drill, to be honest. Here, so I'm also gonna slim down uh, the USB just so it sits more flush into the into the cavity. I don't know what to call it, the storage compartment, that thing. Anyways, let's do that. So after a couple minutes, got it slimmed down. It's gonna fit flush right beside the charger. It's gonna be a beauty. Also, I forgot to mention, benefit of doing it this way is that technically you still have your warranty if you keep all the parts because it's really easy to put back together so if if it for some reason stops charging you still have your warranty you put it back together contact the seller Shh, don't tell anyone I told you that but you know technically you can do that so just want to mention that as well all right so before I get this in the car um, I want to say shout out to a thread on one addicts I'm gonna leave it in the description. It's what gave me the idea to do this. A guy got the Chotec charger. He just put it on top, but I was thinking if that fits on top, you can definitely put it underneath. So definitely shout out to that guy. 
Link is gonna be in the, in the description. I'm also gonna have the link for the Chotec charger, the car charger, and the fuse uh, the fuse adapter. So all of that's gonna be in the description. And uh, the next shot's gonna be me installing it in the car, which is not gonna be today. So let's fast forward to that. All right, so I hooked up the wireless charger. Uh, I used fuse number five right there. It's the last one on the first row right there. Uh, it's a it's a switched fuse, so it only uh, gives power when the key's in, and that's a micro two fuse tap. Uh, I bought, the one that I got with the the cigarette lighter was too big. It's one of those uh, big ones right there. Uh, you can't really see it. One of those big ones. So uh, yeah, only the switched ones are only the small ones. Anyways, so I uh, wired that up. Goes to right in here. So now, if I put in my phone right now. It shouldn't be charging. Yep, there's no green light or anything. And then once I put the key in, give it power. You can see it starts flashing. And my phone should be charging. There we go. So yeah, it works uh, perfectly. So that was the wireless charger install. It wasn't that hard. I just didn't have luck with the fuses. Because the one I got first was an ATO, that's too big. I mean, it's not too big, it fits in the car, but it's not a switched fuse. Then I got a Mini, the Mini was too small, so I returned that, and I got a Micro 2. So you have to use Micro 2 for the smaller ones at the top. It was really hard to find that on the forums, because when I searched it, they said Mini, and I bought the Mini, and then I looked back, and at the bottom, below that response, it was like, oh, it's not Mini, it's actually a Micro 2. So you need a Micro 2 to, uh, to do this. But it uh, wasn't too hard anyways. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you think uh, you'd like more content from this channel. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more stuff for this car. I already have a lot of mods bought. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching.